All right, welcome back to Q School. Woohoo! Back in class. Um, it's been a while. It has been a while. I'm sorry. Who are you? Yeah, my name's Guillaume Tremaine, <laughs> uh, and this is Maura McGinnis. And uh, if you guys have not joined us before for Q School, thank you for joining us. We always aim to keep these under 30 minutes, but it's been a few months, and we have a lot of jokes. So. Yep. We'll two hours, four-ish. So we only did about 700 Q schools yeah, last that's year. That's right. So let's look at um, that. <laughs> and so about 700. You, you think? Close. Uh, that looks like 700. To it me. does look like 700. So if you want to see any of the old Q schools, you can on our YouTube channel or through the website. I think. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, there is a laundry list of Q schools right there. And actually, uh, that's a really good point because probably of those 700, 500 of them have been about verse. Close to it. Yeah. yeah. So we might not get into the, the minutia of this product family today, but that information is there and ask the questions and your regionals and your reps are certainly familiar with it. Um, so we aim for 30 minutes or less. Yes. This particular one, I think we'll probably do in half. The amount of time, maybe, um, because we're really going to highlight a couple of new products. We're not going to go over the uh, all of the versions of Verse, except for I'm sure Mora will hit on some key points. There are some key points, and um, additionally, most of what we're talking about today, most, is available or will be available very soon. There are going to be some things we're going to talk about that you are not going to find literature on. There's a pendant behind us. You will not find literature on that. Um, and some other bells and whistles. Doesn't mean that they're not in development and close, but um, just that's that's our, our caveat to the front end. Um, and we'll tell you which things are available now and which are not. At Leducation, uh, we launched Verse, and our Verse is our first line of fully built linear fixtures. That's not to say we weren't building linear fixtures here at the factory, um, but this is specified as a single item, a single fixture up to eight feet, and we are up to nine iterations and then some. About half of what we'll talk about today is ready to go on the website. Some other stuff is coming soon. A little bit more than half. A little bit more than half. Yeah. So um, as a reminder, the Verse family is the consistency across the fixtures are, it's a high quality aluminum housing with machined metal end caps. It's concealed mounting. We have two wire feed options. We have multiple finishes. And each fixture lens sort of dictates what the fixture does. And that's going to dictate what is behind the lens and what we can accommodate when it comes to wet, dry, RGB, dynamic white, static white. And you can see on this screen um, the Verse family profiles. The fixture is less than an inch wide and about a little over half an inch tall. Um, and we have the proud, the flush, the clear, the grazer, the optics, encapsulated, and louver. And we're going to talk about some additions to the family today, which are some additions to our optics, our Verso 5, and a new fixture, Verso 9, our asymmetric. So with that, let's look at some fixtures. So the 9, the Verso 9 is the Verse asymmetric. So this um, is one of the fixtures that can only be in dry. It's, uh, again, when you look at those... Um, Section views, you can see that the extruded optical lens compresses down on, well, it doesn't compress down, but it limits the ability to see, um, to house different LEDs behind there. So you can see looking at that asymmetric cutaway, um, the lens sits right above the LEDs. Right, so what so it, that's the lower. The thing. lower sketch, yes, the bottom of the slide. You can see over to the right the photometric web and some beam angles. So basically, it's a 45 degree beam of light kicked off axis at about 30 degrees. So now let's look at the fixture. So there's that really clean beam of light. It's about 45 degrees. It does have some kickback, um, but it's pretty minimal. And this light is really going where it needs to go. Now it is dry only, but it can accommodate our high efficacy LEDs. So you can get a lot of punch. So now let's look at it up on a dark blue surface, and get a little idea of that. So you can see again, here it is on our blue cue pushing off. Something to remember about this is there is some nuance when you're building the fixture. So something that I said that was common to all of our fixtures is the wire feeds. So all verse fixtures can have the wire out the back or the end. So, and we can shh, shh, shh. Yeah, so we are uh, <laughs> going to be launching out the side 
on uh, all the verse options except for uh, uh, plush. Okay. So one, three. One, three, four, five, six, six seven, seven, eight, eight, oh, nine. H, no, eight yet, well. nine. Um, so right now they're available with two wire feeds. The reason I bring that up is because in the specification of the fixture, when you have that asymmetric lens kicking the light out a certain direction, you're going to need to think about where that wire feed is. Um, because if your feed is here and you wanted the light to go this way, you might not get it to go that way. Well said. <laughs> um, and we should actually, as a reminder, take a look at the part numbers online. So I jumped. I jumped because we're so excited to be here again. But let's actually go back to the um, our website really quick to remind no, everybody. I, we I know, but I want to show them the okay. deal about the. I mean, so under products, we go to linear fixtures. We have we have also um, launched the Torque as a fixture, a single spec sheet line item, a single line item spec sheet. And we have two more. And we have two more coming this week as full complete fixtures. But looking at the verse and specifically the asymmetric verse 09, I want to just point out again when uh, not again I haven't said it yet today. I say it all the time. Any time that you specify any of our products, we always recommend using the master ordering guide set. Whew, it's a tough morning for me. Um, that has your most complete information. And with reference to what I'm talking about. Here's your part number, your wattage, your IP rating, your asymmetric lens. And here's the tricky part, your input and your output. So your wire in and your wire out, we always say S1 is a single feed and P1 is a pass through, but now you've got some A's and B's. And that is due to the fact that that throw, so we're gonna build this. So if you know where your wire is coming in and which way your light is going, you're gonna know which way, which specification. I'd like to remind everybody that here at QTran, we have an apps engineering department and we will build, build a material Actually, for all of, oh, do you wanna go back to go that? go back to that for a second? Cause that was a good uh, explanation. And just, be, you know, to elaborate on that, it's gonna get a little bit more complicated when we offer the ability to come out the side. Oh yeah. So. Um, Yikes. Yeah. S1, A, B, C, G, but here you go. So uh, if you know that your detail, say, well, is- It'll be more similar to how QCAP is being. Oh, right. Yeah. Excellent. Wow. Off, um, so it's, listen, this is absolutely meant to be a feature of the product. It's not meant to confuse you or burden you when you're specifying. You could specify your part number with X's in the part number for wire feed. It's only gonna be when that, um, project is being built here in the factory that we're going to really get into those details and work with our apps engineers, the reps, the distributors, and hopefully the specifiers to get you exactly the product you need. Yep. All, All right. right. And 05 was optics. Verse 05 is optics. We launched it with a 50 degree optic. Now the Verse 05 is pretty cool, and we always wanted the Verse 05 to have a, a complement of yep. optics, right? So we launched it with a 50 degree. And by the way, I'd like to caveat it's ish. So we kind of pick a number um, and it's around that number and we'll explain that in a minute. So we've got the 50, is that the 50? Yeah. And you get the 40, here's your 40. All right. And I have the 50. So we have two fixtures here to show you a little bit of uh, the difference in the beam spread. I have the original 50 degree and Guillen has the new 40 degree. And then we will look at the photometric web to really describe, oh, sorry for all that noise. I have the 50. And Kian has the 40. And so this is that nice clean 50. It's mostly, um, there's very little fall off in the field angle, I believe. The 40 is a little different because it's a lot narrower. It really looks like a 35.6. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Let's go to the, um, let's see if that's actually true, Mr. Tremaine. Um, wow, let's look at the, uh, the slide. And it is, in fact, a 35 points. <laughs> it was just a guess. <laughs> it was a guess. So, but the 50 is a 52.9. So let's look at this slide because I'd like to point out something. It's a little bit um, 
nuancy, right? So looking at the end views of the fixtures, that's an extruded acrylic. So that's extruded up to eight feet. There's no breaks in the lens. And you can see the difference in the, in the shapes. So the 50 degree has that very clean sort of flat top. Um, and that's allowing for a nice Lambertian distribution. The 40 has a little bit of a, I don't know, a little loop-de-loop, -loop, a little whoop, a little curve. Huh. <laughs> a little, I'm not sure what the <laughs> term is. So going back to our beam angles, overhead shots. Uh -huh. Oh, you unplugged. I'm sorry. Well, I was jumping to the next one. He's jumping. He's, you'll see that this 40, the, the, the distribution is just a little bit different than the 50. I only like to point it out because when you're going to uh, dead end this against something or um, there's any sort of critical detail that you need to be concerned about, that's all published in our ordering guides and um, available for you. And above our heads, oh, no, you can do that. There's that 40 again. And um, by the way, it's a lot more um, prominent on the video than it is in real life. That is not, it's not so glary, it's just the camera. But over our heads, we have something that is not ready yet, but it's a mounting option for all verse. Oh, you look lovely. Thanks. It's a really good, I think it's nice. So this is the verse pendant, which will be the 10? Well, I, I think it's gonna be a mounting option, no? I don't think this is gonna be a specific, this happens to be a verse optics, this happens to be a 50 degree, um, fixture that we hung over our head. Um, and it is uh, hung with aircraft cable um, and a lazy wire. So we are working towards power over aircraft. We're not there yet, but we can pendant mount our fixtures currently in this condition. What about glare control? What about glare control? I mean, that could be if I'm a little glary. So also not ready yet. <laughs> Not on the website, but very close to ready, yeah. is this louver accessory. And you want to talk about it? So it's really a louver that goes over the extrusion and over the lens. So it can go over the grazer, it can go over the optics, or it could go over just the standard uh, flush or, or uh, proud lens. Um, so it's great uh, because it you know, obviously controls the glare. Um, mm. It does make the fixture a little larger because it goes over the extrusion. And it's going to be available in black, white, black and white, I think. Rose gold? No, I don't think that. No? Made, it's, I don't think that made the um, it's a great, it's a, it's a really nice, um, um, it's, a, it's a really nice addition. No, it does cover the entire fixture. Um, you take the end caps off, but the end caps of the fixture, but you have a custom end cap for the product itself. So it is also going to be impacted by that side feed, yes? Or not available with, or we don't know. We haven't gotten that far. We haven't gotten that far yet. That is not ready yet, but please reach out to your regional if you have questions about it. Um, it is injection molded? Correct. It is injection molded in segments, correct? Yeah, in about 12 inch segments. Right. So, um, so you would take it and sort of slide it in pieces along your fixture. So that is the Verse Louver over optics. It is not, not ready yet. To be confused with the Verse 07. Verse 07, which is louvered, uh, kind of recessed in the housing, um, which limits us on our light engines, but uh, you know does give you a, a more delicate fixture. Yeah, um, and we've done, in those Verse Q schools um, and on our YouTube channel, we've done deep dives into pretty much everything that's on this table and what makes them different. Um, so you can check there. Uh, what else is not ready yet? Uh, so we have developed some gasketing for oh, the- That's uh, not where I thought you were going with that for the, question. <laughs> well, for the, for the different versions of the verse, this is showing with the grazer. Um, and so it will be gasketed and- um, So, I have in my hand uh, because I want to show. Is yeah. the word I was thinking of. This is a verse proud without gasketing. Um, it's quite beautiful. There's no light leak at all. And then you want to put yours next to it? Uh, yeah. It's even doubly no light leak. So this is a gasketed, um, and it is gasketed for light leak purposes only, not for IP. Oh, um, no. As a reminder. Oh, you know what? Our IP ratings 
come from the LED inside, not the fixture. Can we not fire that up? It's a warm dim. I don't oh, have we have the wrong. This was an adder. We did not talk about this at 11 o'clock. So let's zoom way in, Donna. You haven't had to zoom today. So let's, let's zoom in. Way in, way in. Black fixture. So there is a black gasket in between the end cap. I know no one can see it, even on my pale, pale hand. And then there is a black gasket on the exterior here. Or grommet. And grommet, we'd sorry. we probably have a black wire out of there. We would the, normally. normally but, uh, the we literally um, yeah, added this to the presentation at 155. So yep. that's in development, hopefully ready soon. Very soon. That's ready. The 40 degree and 50 degree are ready. And the what's asymmetric the is asymmetric ready. is ready. And then verse 08 um, is not ready yet, but it's a cool thing. So let's go back to the slide deck and let's take a peek at the coming soon. We're with 05, we're adding another extruded acrylic um, bat wing optic that is in development. And we don't have much to say about that, except that it will be extruded to eight foot lengths. But if you look to the right side of the slide, you'll see a profile that looks suspiciously like the Verso 3 clear. Yep. But there's a tiny thing, sort of a second light line at the top of the fixture. So what that is, is an insert. So Verse 08 is going to be called the Verse insert. I don't know if you can see that here, uh, uh, but it's the clear lens that has a shelf and we can put a, um, an insert. a film insert inside of the lens. Uh, so it sits on that shelf. Right. The insert can give us different optical uh, outputs, including kind of an up light. Uh, I guess we didn't secure that. Uh, mm -hmm. But uh, so this is kind of an up light and gives us a nice clean distribution uh, from a indirect or indirectly lighting a, uh, a source. But you know what else it is? It just dawned on me. Let's, let's light it up. Let's light it up, Gian, because, oh, you have the light up end. Um, something that's cool about the clear is our clear lens is flush to the um, extrusion. So this is a really nice clean uh, up light. It's sort of, I don't know how we show that exactly. You can see a really clean diffuse light with a little bit of push out. It's, a, it's almost bat wing in that it's really getting the light pushed out to the yeah, you side. You can see it on the camera better. Um, but what's cool, I just realized, is that that flush um lens is similar to our flush right so this is our verso 2 flush this is a much more lambertian this has a little bit more optical properties however our flush because of the co-extruded acrylic lens can only accommodate dry leds this will be able to accommodate a wider variety of ip ratings Ooh. just thought of it nice. boom I thought so, you were making stuff up. I was fly. I actually just I was making it up on the fly. It just dawned on me. So that's cool. So that's another option. So that's 08. It is not ready yet. Do you know when 08's going to be? Uh I think it might be ready the soonest out of all the out of everything. things that we teased that's not available. <laughs> things that are not available. That's the soonest available. It's bugging me. Sorry. Oh. What what, what do you have up your sleeve? What is the RGBHE? <laughs> that's crazy. So if let's look at the let's look at the slide first. Here's a, another recap of That was a shout out to Doug, really. That was a <laughs> well done. So you'll see on this slide, there's a ton of stuff that the verse is going to start accommodating. So we've been, we hope, innovating and improving, we know, um, our LEDs and our extrusions, and we've added RGBWHE, we've added dynamic white high efficacy, which ranges all the way up to 5,500 Kelvin with multiple wattages. We have our high efficacy static whites, which we're excited about because you can get up to over 10,000, over 10,000, 10, over, <laughs> over a thousand lumens of foot. I'll take your LC away. <laughs> Um, we're working on a pendant mount, we're working on the new side feed in development, new finishes, but something that we've just launched recently, now we could look at the overhead. Um, and again, this was another adder to this afternoon's presentation. Um, let's zoom way in. We have a new product and it's our RGBW, here Donna, I'll move for you. So this is our RGBWHE. 
Hmm. Can we really, can we get into the weeds there? Get really close. There it is. So you'll see a center diode, which is a tricolor chip flanked by, Ooh, flanked like by two white chips. So we are able to offer this product punching out more white than has ever been available before in RGBW. Um, we're offering it in 2,700, 3,035 and four. For QCAP, definitely. Right now, I think it's published on our website with 2,700 and 3,000. But as another reminder about QTRAN, I like all my little reminders. reminders. Um, we're right here in Milford, Connecticut, and we have a lot of abilities, including the ability to populate our own boards with the chips that our team engineers. So and you let us know. And sell stuff that we don't have yet. And sell stuff that we don't have. There's but a those lot. Those are all of our abilities right <laughs> we there. We do have that, though. We do have that. But not in verse yet, but it could be accommodated. So with that, now, unless we have anything else we want to sell that we don't make yet. No, I think it's, oh, we do have the verse case. <gasps> we do. That we make, slowly. Yeah. So we have sample cases available. Um, thank you. And all of our sample cases are these fun, fat briefcases with different colored handles. So if you have these in your offices or in your homes these days, they have a yellow handle, a blue handle, a black and white handle, or red handles. These are our green verse cases. And this is going to represent, we hope, a lot of what we just showed, actually. Um, asymmetric has made its way in here. Um, louver, but not louver over optics. You're going to see a QZ. So let's look at the overhead. So you're going to have a QZ power supply, 30 watt capacity, a zero, to ten, a zero to 10 dimmer, a phase dimmer, a bunch of assorted uh, wires and plugs. And then you're going to have two layers of fixtures representing all of our finishes. Both of our mounting styles, this one actually has the magnet mount, and we've built into the case oh, a magnet mount accessory, so you can really see how that works. Um, and then we have bronze, black, grazers, white, asymmetric, 40 degree, 50 degree, all sorts of stuff. Um, and these cases are rather labor intensive, so they take a bit of time to make. Um, we are, we have spent really the last year, I'm actually not exaggerating, kind of perfecting this case. Um, we had a lot of different iterations since last March when we launched the product. And um, we feel that this is a really comprehensive look at the family line. So we thank you for your patience in waiting for them, but they are in assembly right now. They were not happy, by the way, when I went and took this one before this presentation. <laughs> and we're producing like 5,000 a week, right? Yeah, I, you built like 3,000 yesterday. <laughs> He's a machine, you guys. Yeah. So they are coming. Um, please request one if you want one. Yes. Uh, and we can ship them to your homes, to your offices, obviously, wherever. Um, we think that this product really, really represents well and stands on its own. So that we do have. See, we closed with something we do have rather than stuff we're just working on. Well, the, uh, the stuff that we're working on, a lot of it's coming very, That's true. very soon. Thank you so much uh, for our little uh, <laughs> refresh, yeah. re revisiting of we're Q's We're a little school. rusty. We are rusty. We'll get better. Come in, join us at two. It'll be a whole different show. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for supporting QTRAN. Thank you for taking this time to sit in front of your uh, screens and listen to us. And please reach out to your regional, your rep, and let us know what you need. Thank you.